Let us learn today the conversion of postfix expressions into infix expression. Let us take an expression ABC star plus DE slash F star minus. This is a postfix expression. If we want to evaluate the value of this expression, we will have to convert it into an infix expression. We will follow some simple steps that I am going to demonstrate. First step is, let us count the total number of characters in the expression, including all the operands and the operators. So in our expression, there are 11 characters. You can count them yourself. Second, we take a stack of equal size. That is, in our case, size should, uh, should be 11. So a stack having 11 spaces to store the characters. Now, how we are going to place these uh, uh, characters of the expression in the stack? Let's see. Now we arrange the characters of the expression in the stack as you can see in the video. The leftmost character of this expression will be placed at the top of the stack and the rightmost character at the bottom of the stack sequentially. So the characters are placed in the stack as you can see in this video now. We will follow the simple procedures of uh, stack rules. That is, we will pop our operands and operators one by one from this stack and uh, we will follow some different procedure whenever an operator will come and whenever will uh, whenever there will be an operand that will be pushed out of the stack uh, uh, that uh, that will be popped out of the stack will do nothing but whenever we will pop, pop up uh, an operator will follow some different rules so let's start first we pop a we do nothing, simply we will keep popping the uh, operands until an operator that is multiplication, division, plus or minus comes. Until such an op operator will come, we will keep operating or uh, popping up our characters from the stack. So we have popped up A, now we have popped B, simply we will keep popping C. Now the next character that is to be popped is multiplication symbol that is star. Now multiplication symbol is an operator. Now we will follow some, some simple rule. Whenever an operator will come, it will be pushed between the last preceding two operands. As you can show in this arrow, a star will be pushed between B and C. So the B multiplied by C will be a single operand and now will enclose it between a bracket so that it is it becomes a single operand. So A and B star C are now only two operands. Now we'll pop up our next character of the expression Again, this is a plus symbol which is an operand. We'll follow the same procedure. We'll push it between A and B star C. So A plus B star C is now a single operand. Now we'll, start, we'll, we'll 
continue with the pop operation of the stack we'll pop D now continue with the pop operation of the stack we pop E we'll again continue with the pop operation the next character pop this is slash now slash is a division operator so we again follow the same rule whenever an operator is encountered for popping in the stack we push it between the last two popped oper operands so the last two popped operands are D and E you can see easily so slash will be placed between D and E so D divided by E will become a single operand now you can see it and we enclose D by E in the pair of brackets so that it is not to be confused as two different operands now we come back to the stack for pop operation we pop our next character which is F again we pop the next character which is star which is a multiplication symbol we follow the same rule now now where the last preceding two operands are as you can see in the expression D by E and F are now two operands we push uh, we place our operator multiplication symbol star between these two so D by E multiplied by F will become a single operand now now we, we come to our last place character in the stack which is a minus we pop it because minus is an operand we push it between we place it between the last two operands that we are having in our stack so you can see it we place it the minus symbol between the last two operands so our final expression is a plus b star c minus d by e star f with proper braces now you can evaluate this expression for any given values of a b and c and d e and f so now you can see that evaluation of postfix expression is quite simple if we use stack and, pro and follow a simple set of rules I hope that your uh, concepts uh, for evaluation of postfix expression or conversion of postfix into infix expression is clear now.